Hey, Ed Ballou back in Sugar Grove, home of the 2009 Green Community Movement. Today we're at the Village Municipal Center and I'm gonna show you how to install an Aquascape rain barrel. As you can see, we got a typical downspout. First thing we're gonna do is disconnect the elbow and then we're gonna cut the downspout to the appropriate height. I have to remove one of the daylilies and then we're gonna level out the area for our concrete pad that's gonna hold the rain barrel. Next step is to make sure it's level. We wanna make sure it's level side to side as well as front to back. Then we're gonna take our rain barrel, put it in a position, measure everything up so we can cut that downspout off. We have to make sure that we have enough room for that elbow to make that curve. So you don't want it right up against the wall, just a several inches away so you can get that sweep. We're gonna come in about an inch and a half below uh, the, the top of the elbow itself because we're gonna actually slide that, uh, the elbow over the, uh, over the downspout, so about an inch and a half uh, longer. Then we wanna make sure that this is at the proper height. You don't want it too low, because when water comes off of there, it's gonna actually kinda come blasting in, it's gonna swirl around and actually could kinda shoot out of there. So you wanna have it up several inches above so the water actually kinda falls into that screened area. Now that we've cut off our downspout, next step is to reposition our elbow. We're basically just gonna slide this right back over. I'm gonna drill a couple holes to hold the, uh, the elbow in place. We're gonna put our screws in. Next step is to pull our rain barrel back out. We're gonna prepare it now uh, with our overflow so that extra water could keep going down the original path. And then we're gonna also hook up our spigot so we have access to the water. It's our overflow pipe, it's a stand pipe. This is going to fill up, it's gonna get positioned down in the bottom. When the barrel fills itself up, that water is gonna go back down inside of this inch and a half pipe. It comes out this hole down here on the bottom. The water then is gonna hit our concrete pad and then it's gonna roll back directly into that gravel bed that was existing. Getting ready to put our overflow pipe in. It comes with a little bit of Teflon tape. That's gonna give us the proper seal that we're looking for down in the base. It doesn't have to be too tight. You wanna make sure it's gonna hold, but the key is also you have to remember this is gonna be removed during the winter time. We wanna make sure during the winter that the water and ice and everything doesn't build up inside the rain barrel. So that'll, that'll allow this barrel to only get filled up right down in the very bottom. Next step is to hook up our elbow. This is gonna get inserted right down into the bulkhead at the bottom of the rain barrel. This is gonna take the excess water during the overflow and this gives us the ability to direct it into the proper location. Final step in our component installation is to install our brass spigot. This allows us access to the stored water. We're gonna use a little bit of Teflon tape to give us the watertight seal that we're looking for. Now that we have all of our components installed, we're gonna reposition the lid on top. We're gonna to put these little zip ties on the outside perimeter. This is gonna lock the lid in position. Then the final thing, we're gonna poke a couple holes in the top of the lid to allow drainage for our planting pocket. Then we'll install those plants. One thing that makes the Aquascape rain barrel different is the planting pocket. You could start out with a small plant if you desire, or bam, instant gratification. Drop that in. We're ready for the rain. You can see how simple the overall installation was here today. It's awesome to see the village of Sugar Grove coming together and becoming a leader here in the village by actually putting these in right in front of the village center so people can see exactly how they can do their part. It's been a great day. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.